Hi, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to use an adjusted bounce rate. The reason you want to use adjusted bounce rate because it takes in account significant events on your site. So if your content based site, which has a lot of return users, most likely those users are going to come back to your site, view that new content and not interact with any other part of your page, which will be considered a bounce. So today we're going to create an adjusted bounce rate timer. So open up your Google Tag Manager account and let's start with creating a Google Analytics tag. So go to Tags, choose New. We want to choose Google Analytics. We want to choose a universal tag. You want to put in your tracking ID that you can find in your Google Analytics account. I already have mine stored as a variable as GAID. Now the track type we want to use is an event because the event is going to aff affect our bounce rate. So choose event. Now you, everybody has their own naming convention. So I'm going to choose for my category deeper engagement. For the action, I'm going to choose more than 30 seconds because I'm going to use a 30 second timer. Of course, you can change the timer to the length that you want. For label, you can leave blank value also. And for non interaction, you want to make sure that's false because we do want to send a signal to Google Analytics that this is an event which will trigger uh, a bounce rate. So go to continue. Now name your tag. I'm going to choose adjusted adjusted bounce rate for my name and then you want to go down and you have how do we want this to fire on at the moment you can leave this blank because we're going to go create a timer trigger that will allow this tag to fire once that 30 seconds has passed so go to create tag now we want to create a trigger. So we want our trigger to be a timer trigger. So first, let's name this. You can, I'm going to call this a deeper engagement trigger timer. I'm going to choose timer. Now, once you choose timer, you can see that the event name will be the GTM timer markup interval because this is in milliseconds. Remember, you need to adjust your figure. So for 30 seconds, I need 30,000 limit. You can choose one uh, and then continue. Now we want this to be triggered on every page that someone comes in. So we're just going to use page URL. And because we want every page, we're just going to put period in the star, which will encapsulate all pages. It continue. Fire on all timers. Create that. Now, you want to be able to put this trigger with your tag. So let's go back to tags and I have mine set up here. So we want that to fire on. You'll just hit more and you can see I already have it there. But you can go down and you can find here's your deeper engagement timer trigger. You just click that. Save. Now that you have your tag created and the trigger attached to the tag, you want to be able to test whether this tag is firing. So let's go to the preview and debug mode. And then once we're in this mode, we'll be able to see if this tag is actually firing. So let's go over to our website and I'm going to hit refresh here so you can see this actually happen. So once you hit refresh and you're in the debug and uh, debug console, you'll be able to see 
adjusted bounce rate. It says not fired, but please remember this is a 30 second timer trigger. So in about 30 seconds, this is going to fire and it will be uh, seen in the tags fired on this page and also in the summer. Now you can see that that tag is fired and all you need to do now is go back over to your Google Tag Manager and publish your unpublished tags. Please remember to do this. Thank you.